Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's your number one daily uploader. Back at it with another banger. And today we're gonna be making a Roblox game for our first time ever. And this is gonna be quite the experience cause I've never done this before. All right, so we got this all drawn out and the middle is gonna be the spawn round one is where there's gonna be a bunch of mini squares and if you step on one, they disappear. Totally my idea. Round two, there's gonna be an obby going up and then there's gonna be rise, lava rising. And then round three is there, there's gonna be a PVP and like you fight to the death and of course whoever is the last one standing wins it all. Pretty simple concept. I'm only doing it pretty simple because it's my first ever game. Maybe we'll get more, uh, what do they call it? Advanced, if I make another game. Now I wanted all the models to be made by me, so I found this app called Blender. It's basically like a 3D modeling software. So here's a quick speed run of me making some stuff for my game. going to be the size of our lobby. Alright, so we got all our models that we made in Blender, and I'll actually leave the link in the description of the video that I used to make them. So, now let's make the lobby. So here's the lobby, what took you guys three seconds, it took me half an hour. It should have not taken me that long. But now we're gonna make like a water fountain right in the middle, and then like a path in the middle, and then paths going out to different stuff that you can play around with when you're waiting to enter a mission. Okay, so there's our pass, and now we're gonna make some stuff that people can mess around with when they're waiting to enter mission. I added some balls right here, like people can roll around, and then over here, I'm gonna add like a little campsite. I also hopped into Blender to build like the logs for the campfire. And yeah, there we go. Now we got our little campsite. I also added um, a picnic blanket and now i think we're gonna make like a little portal over here that teleports you to a small little mini game that you can play while waiting let's hop into blender and do that okay so i added in the mini game that the teleporter is actually going to teleport you to and let's test it out okay so the E button pops up for the portal let's see if it works and it works let's see how the obvious is <coughs> yep works pretty good. pretty good I then watched Row Builder's tutorial on how to make a cool looking lamp and I didn't get the footage it was recording the YouTube video of Row Builder's video not blender so that was kind of gay so I finished up the map and or I finished up the lobby and here's how it looks I hopped into Blender and started making these hexagons for the mini game, and they're gonna disappear every time someone steps on them. And yeah, here's a quick a little speed run of that. I then imported them into Roblox Studio and colored them. Okay guys, so we have finished, and I'd say it looks pretty good. I entered in some scripts in them, and they kind of look like this fat, um, 
those fat smarties. Let's test the game out and see if it works. And it works. I'm actually so glad that this worked because it took me forever. I had to import every single script into every single hexagon. It took me forever, guys. It was crazy. But yeah, I'm very glad it works and it's pretty cool too. GOI is another important thing that people have in their Roblox game. So I decided to make my GOI as like a loading screen. You can click credits or play. Play obviously plays the game and then credits just gives out the credits to people who made the people who made the game. Anyways, let's test out and see if it actually works. And let's go, it works. It actually looks pretty good. Credits gives me the credits and close works. Yep. Play plays the game. Pretty cool. Before we move on, guys, I just wanted to say I scrapped all the two other ideas of the lava rising and PvP because it was just too hard. I couldn't find out how to do it. Anyways, back to the video. I made a round system, so whenever you um, load into the game, there's an intermission, and then when the timer's up on the intermission, you'll get spawned into the hexagon uh, map, and you can play. And then once everybody dies or the timer's up, then everybody dies and gets spawned back into spawn, and the process just repeats over and over again. So here's a quick speed run of me making that. Okay guys, so we just finished up with the round system and let's see if it works. Play again. All right, intermission 23 seconds. It's looking good so far. Choosing map. Map chosen, okay. And it teleports me. Okay, we're in game. And I made the parts where you spawn on last for five seconds longer. Just because, yeah. We get 60 seconds. And it's actually really cool. We're falling. Ah. We died. Dang, we die, darn. The only bug is that every time you die, this pops up, which is, which I only want for when you load into the game. So if anyone knows how to fix that, comment down below. Officially, guys, we have now finished our first ever Roblox game. And to my surprise, it's pretty good, and I'm McLovin' it. So I'll show you guys the finished product, and let's check it out. Anyways guys, that's the game, and if you guys want to play it, I'll leave a link to it down in the description, and I'm actually pretty proud of myself, this is my first ever game, once again, and yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.